Man, I've had so far every single round. Welcome back to Class of Firearms, guys. Kaya and Aaron over here. I'm back. Yes, you're back. How are you uh, feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. How about yourself? That's good. Good seeing you. Good having you here. I try to be sometimes. All right. I try to be. Good. Today we're going to talk about the best law enforcement duty pistol in our opinion. Okay. Okay. So since we're going to talk about, obviously, law enforcement stuff, Aaron, we got to know your background because you're involved. I was involved for a little bit. So okay. uh, for you guys who don't know me, I was uh, law enforcement out in Hayward, California, um, Bay Area, right outside of Oakland. Um, several years, street cop, um, was on a SWAT team, did some gang unit work and some other um, things that I did out there. Um, in reference to that, uh, we utilized the SIG 320 and the 226. My first gun, full size gun, was actually yeah. a uh, 226 SIG, and then I transferred over to a 320 after I got into a shooting one. Um, so we had an option in reference to that, and we also actually had options with the Glocks, but I obviously went with the SIG okay. when it comes to that. So that's a little bit about my background, and I do have some real time experience with utilizing it. That's good. And unfortunately. Well, and, and anybody obviously who doesn't know where Aaron worked at. It's a very, very busy department. It's so it's not like because law enforcement, it's not always uh, created equally, right? So there are some departments with like ten officers, really quiet areas, and not knocking those guys down. But department like yours, you guys saw action all the time. Yeah. So yeah. we actually had times where we had to train, but we were actually able to utilize that training, which is a good thing, and it feels good when actually you yeah. can see the training actually works yeah. with what we're doing. So yeah, Especially fortunately, gun that works too. yeah, the gun worked. Fortunately, both times, three times, it worked. So. Okay. Um, <laughs> So yeah, we uh, we definitely are a little bit more active in our area, and I will give them kudos out there in Hayward, California. They do some training, do some good training out there too. So that's good, man. And uh, for my background, anybody who doesn't know, just local, state, and federal, all three of those uh, got some ex experience under my belt, and I am experienced with the Glocks and Smith and Messons. So I've carried Glock 22, 40 caliber. I've carried the Glock 19 and 17M, uh, nine millimeter, and I've carried uh, when I was a local guy. Uh, Smith & Wesson MMP 40, not the 9mm which we have in this case, 40 okay. caliber, and I got the hinge trigger. Okay. So pretty good gun and absolutely loved it. it like, Smith & Wesson is a sleeper, guys. This guy is an absolute uh, sleeper. I love Glocks, they're fantastic. Right. And I know a lot of people don't like them, but they're good, they work. But this guy right here, I was able to shoot this thing better. Really? Yeah. And we're gonna find out, right? We're gonna go to the range, yeah. right? Do you have any experience with some of messing? I have just, I had a shield for uh, one of my carries and my backup guns, so okay. um, I have that experience, but for full size and utilizing it in that aspect, no. But I do know, like you stated before, Smith & Wesson has definitely stepped up their game in the M&P market, mm -hmm. that full size, the, um, the full metal, Oh, yeah, about. exactly, yeah. I love, because I love a heavier gun, too. I like to feel the gun in yeah. my hand, so I would love to get hands on that. But speaking on this one, I, I think that they're doing a good job, because you definitely see them out there. Absolutely. Just, Amazing shot play. Like, it's just a very good feeling gun. Do you have any experience with the FN? I do not. That's a newer gun, I know. Is it LAPD? Just LAPD. Yeah. So LAPD adopted the MRD. Uh, version, which is just a shorter barrel, uh, like four inch, I think, and also Florida County Sheriff's Department adopted this as well. And Glocks are obviously known to be everywhere, and obviously right. Six Hour is known to be everywhere. The Army's gun, the mil right. uh, the Marines gun. So these are all very reputable guns, and right. they're being utilized throughout the United States by law enforcement. And uh, but you know that doesn't mean they're good. You know I know like Glocks are mass adopted by law enforcement. Is this better than? Let's just say the FN. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna be several variables you have to take yeah. into place. So I know we've spoken to this before. It's gonna be the statute individual. So mm -hmm. a gun that me and you might feel comfortable with, it might be a five three young lady out there with smaller hands. Yep. Subjective, not be, right? Yeah, subjective, mm -hmm. correct. May not be the right gun for them. Um, are you still shooting 40, are you shooting nine? There's a couple factors yeah. in it. The trigger, like you said before, Optics are going to be a little bit different if you are putting red dots on things. Do they have the ability to do that? So there's going to be a couple of factors we're going to put into play here. But when we get to the range, we'll sit there, yeah. we'll take our time, see which yeah. one works out best. With that being said, I think we should go to the range and shoot these things and leave your sig bias aside. And let's find out which one is the best. Let's you get you in? Oh, let's do it, man. I'll do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are at the range. Aaron, you ready? Let's do it, brother. OK, we're going to start with Glock. Is that OK? OK, yeah. All right, so Glock 17 right here, OG, 1982 from Gaston Glock. Good old, you know, basic sights. Yeah. The Glock trigger, just Gen 5 Glock 17, that's all. all right. So target about 35 yards out, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of mag dump this, focus on the uh, shooting experience, accuracy, see how it feels, recoil management. And uh, 
then Aaron, you'll do the same, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Man, I've hit so far every single round fine, but I hate these sights. They just suck, man. The U-shaped sight right here, the white dot. If it had three white dots, I'd like it. I just don't like this U-shaped sight. But let's keep going. We're, we're hitting it so far. Uh, 35 yards, I think I missed about two out of 17 rounds. Pretty good, or 16, 17, whatever that was. Pretty good. Overall, dude, it's a stock block. I would upgrade the trigger and sights. You know what sure. was funny too? Was every round that you were hitting out, you were like stacking shots. The fragmentation was going in the same direction. Almost every shot, it was funny as hell. Huh. Yeah, it was okay. crazy. Not yeah. sure why, but let's see how you feel. All right, I can agree with you already on these sights. Yeah. I can tell you already, I don't like them, but we'll feel everything <clears> else out. So again, those sights suck. Trigger, all right. Ergonomically, we've spoken about this before. And again, this is not me talking caca about a Glock or anything like that. Like I said, I'm gonna be unbiased towards this with everything going oh, are on. Are you gonna, wait, 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 I, 100%, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna be serious about this. I'm gonna be unbiased. Even though Sig's gonna win, I'm gonna be unbiased about this <laughs> whole thing. Um, but no, seriously, all BS aside. <laughs> sights I agree with you on. Shot, yeah. it, it does the job for me, you know? That's what I was gonna ask you. Like for a police officer who's brand new right off the academy or go to the academy you give him this or her what yeah. do you think it, it the does done? the job it'll get the job done i mean end of the day glock has been here for how yeah. many years now because it does exactly that it does the yeah. job they don't change much at all when it comes to what yeah. generation five now so i mean i, I honestly i'd recommend it absolutely fantastic but if you're going to get this gun guys go ahead and spend extra 100 bucks whatever this just change the sights yes. get something better glock obviously puts this because they're compelled, they're required to put a sight on a freaking handgun, right? Yeah. But it's just bare bone, kind of keep the cost down. We get Trigger it. also, I would change. We shot that, uh, was that the Timmy trigger that we had? Oh, Timmy Alpha, the Timmy or Alpha trigger, performance yes. trigger, that, uh, that's also really nice, still duty worthy. I think Timmy Alpha is fantastic, I love it, but some people question some of the reliability. Maybe it needs some time to kind of prove itself, mm -hmm. but the Glock's performance trigger is amazing. But the sights, man, it's a great gun, the sights. Yeah. So. Overall, you got the job done. Exactly. That's what I'd say with that. So let's move on to the next one. What do you think, Smith? Oh, uh, let's do Smith. Okay, let's do it. All right, Aaron, you're holding the winner gun. I thought already. we were unbiased about this. What happened? I'm just saying. I'm okay. not being biased, but I think the Smith is going to win both of, us, both of us over. Okay. And Sig is probably going to be the last. Just say. <laughs> Can we put the definition of bias on the <laughs> yeah. screen right now? We're not being biased, guys. We're not being not biased. No, there's nothing biased about it. But I think Smith's going to win. <laughs> No, I'm excited to take yeah. some some rounds with this. Uh, let's go do it. Let's oh, do it, man. Same thing. Uh, I can already tell you, ergonomically, it does feel great. Look at those sights, though. Oh uh, yeah. Well, after shooting the Glock, the sights are hundreds of times better. Aaron, you know what I'm gonna tell you, buddy? What's up? He's got a gun. He's, He's got, got a gun. gun. He's got a gun. There you go. You hit him. So, see what I did, guys? All right. You guys see, see what I did? I brought the cop in him out. He was missing a few rounds, so I had to yell, he's got a gun, and he started hitting every time. Anything else? 
Uh, just you're on deck. Right, back to me now. <laughs> Trigger, love it. Recoil mitigation. No, freaking amazing. Okay. I will not lie to you. I don't like a lot of things Kaya says, but I'll have to agree with him on this one. So far, there we go. Over At the least Glock, one thing. M and P is 100. When you take your shots, just to make sure I'm not off on this one, hold slight to the right. I think there's oh. got a little something going on there. As soon as you said he got a gun, I started aiming to the right a little bit. But take the shots. Maybe it was the shooter. You tell me. Okay. Let's find out. I'm going to hold center first. Let's see how, yep. how it does, okay? Because uh, I think your hands are a little off, probably. Yeah, probably. Cross side tip. I think that was a bad round. Yep. Hold on. So let's just see. See the gas? It was an ammo issue, not the gun. It just didn't eject. But it wasn't a squib because it still went out. So, so we're going to keep going. You hold Center. Again, I had a, obviously a little stove pipe. See this? It was an ammo issue, guys. So, there we go. Dude, sh pretty much hit every time, I think. You hit every time, and if you were aiming center, you were off to the left a little bit. Okay, so. It is, so it's not just me on this one. All right, got you, so. It's not just the shooter. Fine, I'll give that to you. I don't like pretty much everything he says, and I don't like this one too, but I'll give it to him. <laughs> All right, so, dude, sincerely, every round hit, like amazing recoil management. The trigger's fantastic, feels great in the hand. The texture's awesome. Suppressor height sights. Dude, I, lightweight. this dude. gun, guys, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I got no dog in the fight. I'm not working with Smith. This video is not sponsored by Smith. This is one of the most underrated striker pistols, striker fired pistols out there, in my opinion. Again, I, like I said, I don't agree with Kai on a lot of things he says at all, but ergonomically, this grip is, it's money. It fits in the hand perfectly. And again, I think that weighs in a lot to do with the feel of the pistol, the lightweight aspect of it, the recoil mitigation on it. Yeah. It was, dude, lights out. Once we could have picked the speed up on this thing and 100%. Been, been on it with it. So, I mean, I have to, right now, Smith & Wesson's on top. 100%. What an, what an incredible... Smith, if you guys are watching this, I don't know what you did, but you guys nailed it, man. Yeah. This is in 100%, as much as I love Glocks, this is a Glock killer all day yep. long. Yep. So let's move on to... Sig? Sig? All right, let's do the Sig. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Winner! <laughs> yeah. All right, Sig M17, also known as P320. M17 is the Army's designation. I got, what, a 17 rounds here. Let's see how this one does. I have a feeling Aaron is expecting this one to win. Without being biased, I don't think this is gonna win. Let's see. Oh God. After Smith, this one feels like a bus. Look at that headshot. For Okay, uh, here's what I'm gonna say, guys. Accuracy-wise, I was surprised. Okay, I shot this thing pretty accurately, more accurately than I expected. However, it still felt like a bust. The trigger, I started feeling like it's kind of pinching my finger, it kind of didn't feel right. Okay, it's kind of fat, and this is more like Aaron's world. Aaron, I know you're not gonna like this, okay? I know you're gonna hate it. Was it better than the Glock? Why do we have to go there? You heard it yourself right here. Continue, why, I'm sorry. I apologize to... for interrupting that. Why don't you go for it? I, I'm gonna go for I, it. I wanna hear if it's gonna be better than the Glock for you. It's better than the Glock, all right? No, Eye that. protection, guys. <laughs> Eye protection, it's important. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta remember there's a safety on this thing. Again, I, just, I promise I was going to be unbiased, so I will be unbiased. I love the SIG aspect of it. Ergonomically, uh, the S&W still has it. That is number one. Yeah. I will give that to them. All right. What do you Okay. So, Smith is clearly winning this. <clears throat> I mean, I know that you hate that. I know. It's okay. It'll be it's, fine. It's a strong six. I broke my back, dude. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the sights on this thing. I don't. It's I <laughs> you, just like the come sights. On, I not do. those sights. I do. I like the sights in this better. It's a flat shooter. I will say though, recoil mitigation. I'm I'm gonna give it to Smith. I know. I will. We I'll. all know that. But we're talking about Glock. Come oh on. no, Glock, dude. <laughs> what, what are we talking about, though? What? Sig. <laughs> this freaking video's over. We did this already, guy. But really, like Sig okay. over Glock sights. all day. Sights, you already said it was crap. I know, sights are horrible on the Glock. Sights, recoil mitigation, ergonomics, we're doing, and again, we're talking trigger. about Glock versus SIG. Yes, 100%. This trigger sucks. So, I know Glock's triggers are also awful. But that's why they have these. I know, this one is better. That's why they have but these. that? But what does Glock have in the stock that they actually have that you can upgrade to? Okay. But all, BS, is, all BS aside, Smith & Wesson right now is taking the cake. As of, as of right now, we do have one more to shoot. This is gonna be second. As of right now, as of right now, oh, this so is going the ranking to be is Glock is number four, four, and Sig is number three. It's funny, we only shot three of these, and Glock is number four already. I don't know. You're saying Glock? Well, Glock for me is at the bottom He's too, guys. I'm gonna be too. honest. We already Glock's, decided. He decided Glock. himself too. No, I, I'll give it. You know, I'm, my name's not Aaron. I'm Kaya, so I'm completely unbiased, and I'll tell you right now, as much as I love Glocks, <laughs> guys, he knows his this name one is Kaya. kind yes. of <laughs> sucks. Okay. On to the next one. <laughs> All right, FN 509 MRD, now LAPD, Florida County, County Sheriff's Department, adopted uh, this gun. I don't have much experience with it, but I honestly think this is a strong contender. So let's give it a try, see how this one feels. All right. Nice suppressor height sights, all black. Mm. Trigger is okay. All but one miss, yeah. and that was a clear miss for me. I, I felt it. Wow, dude. That looks comfortable in your hands, honestly. Uh, it, holy, that, everything is amazing. Uh, this this feels really good. How about this? Go for it. I don't want to cloud your judgment. Okay. I want to see what you're going to say. So we have only one mag, so go ahead and fill this right, one up and we'll up. be back. Yep. Dude, okay, so it's your turn. Try this one out. Okay. I, I thought the recoil management on this one was a tad worse than the Smith. Okay. Maybe that's very subjective. We'll see what you think. Gotcha. But this thing surprised the hell out of me. You look comfortable, man, because you're yeah. out there hitting all your shots, and I mean, even your recoil mitigate, you could see it in your hand. It felt it's, good. I, I expected less from FN, but yeah. this felt good. Right. Balanced, nice, sights are awesome. I don't know, man, let's see what you do. All right, let's so. take it. Gotta get close, really close. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I definitely like those sights, man. Yeah. The trigger is nice. Last one. Yeah. Last one. She's sitting on top. Is it the last one? Yeah, it was the last one too. Okay, so. What'd you think, man? I agree with you with the recoil mitigation. Definitely second to uh, Smith. Yeah. Definitely nice there. The sights 
friggin' suppressed side sights, beautiful. Beautiful. I would actually like to add a little maybe white or maybe even green dot on it. But I'm with you. I'm that's with me you just on that. being picky at this point in time. Trigger, eh, it was whatever to me, honestly. And then ergonomically, Smith & Wesson's number one. I like the SIG ergonomically, this one. Uh, and again, you can uh, yeah, you can change out the little back strap here. So maybe that could have been uh, something that I could have done to make it more comfortable. But ergonomically, I'm gonna go third with this. Um, so honestly, if we're gonna weigh out everything one through four, we're gonna do that. All right, so number one. Oh, no, no, number four. Number four. Oh, you know what? How about this? Let's just take it to the bench and okay. just finish out out there. What okay, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. All right, Aaron, so let's talk about number four. Number four, we already know Glock sucks, so no, Glock doesn't suck, I take that back. But all BS aside, I said I was, wasn't gonna be biased, I won't be biased, but Glock still takes number four. And he's not being biased. Not at all. Glock well, you know still what? takes number four on that one. Here's what I'm gonna tell you, what's number four, and you guys are gonna believe it, because I love Glocks, so it's number four. It is, and the it, reason is, yeah. those sights, yeah, trigger. It's plain Jane. If they would do something with the trigger and the sights, I could see a fight for three, but it's staying number four. I mean, that's. Oh, if, honestly, if I did, if the sights and the trigger was changed, the Glock would probably get number one for me because I'm very familiar with the Glocks, yeah. you know, overall. But this gun, number four all day long. The yeah. trigger was just, again, Glock trigger, and the sights just. I almost prefer no sights. Yeah, and I mean. Sarcasm. Not to take it away, I, I'll do some constructive criticism here, I'll bring you down, but I'll pull you back up, Glock. You do work. If you need a gun to work, grab a Glock. Yeah. It'll work for you. So that's it'll, my number four. You'll miss, but it'll be it'll it'll work. Right? It'll work. I mean, just give them with a little heat shooter. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that's good. I mean, we're on the same page there, and now let's start having our disagreements. Oof. Number three. Number three. Oh man. To toss up, you're gonna make me do this. Well, hey. So the FN, like I told you my issues. Hey, the back strap. Sig, stop. Sig. Sig. Cl cl close your eyes. Close your ears. Cut. <laughs> Sig, just don't watch. Six hour. Don't uh, watch this part. Go ahead. So for the guns on the table, on the table. For the guns on the table. Guns yes. on the table. I'll go three for the Sig. I, I liked the FN. We'll get to that next. I'll go three for Sig. What? I wow. For the whoa 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Hey, wait, wait, Let wait. me finish. Let I me gotta finish. call six hours. Let me finish. Let what? me finish. Three for the Sig on the table. Now. We're gonna take this bad boy right there, that's a clear gun, and throw this bad boy on the table. That's number one. And the thing is, as a cop, you can carry this. Most, a lot of cops are carrying this. Would I cut right? that shit out? You see that? You got just... the hollow sun on top, the X5 Legion. That bad boy right there, you touch that, and you gotta you gotta sit down for a second, smoke a cigarette, do what you gotta do after you okay. touch this, you know? But again, back to what we're doing here. Well, if, uh, if we're going there, number three. my turn tactical, <laughs> John Wick 4, Gen 5, Hey, Combat Master Glock 34 would be number right one here because it's obviously <laughs> superior to that and everything else here. But we're not talking about all that. We're talking about the guns on the table. With that right. being said, Aaron ranked the six Safe, hour number three. number three. It's lucky it went against a stock Glock. This is the Army's modified version. Uh -huh. But right, right, right. <laughs> let's just move right. on to number two. Number three. Number two. Number two. All right. Number two, FN. FN got it. Surprised me a whole lot. And again, I didn't have anything in reference to history of shooting this gun. It's actually my first time shooting this gun. So, fully unbiased with this. Love the sights. Trigger was, eh, so-so. The biggest thing here for me was just switch, switching out this back strap, but again, that's something you can fix you can easily. That. So exactly. And it has a fix for that. But, flat shooting, um, put a red dot on this thing, you probably lights out this all day. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my number two. Yeah, so obviously my number three, I don't think I mentioned it, but it was pretty obvious, is SIG as well. I mean, I really was accurate with it. It shot well, the recoil management was good. The sights are, for what it is, good, better than Glock, for sure. I just didn't like the trigger. I don't like that curved metal trigger. It's old school for me. Yep. But overall, I was accurate with it. I just don't like the ergonomics of this specific gun. You're right, you're, uh, what's this? That is the X5 Legion 320. Feels really good in the hand. So obviously, if this was it, then this would be ranked. Uh, maybe one higher, so number four. Number, number one. Two. He said number one. That's what he said, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> so there's that. But no, uh, yeah, number three there. So number two for me will be the same. Okay. It's definitely going to be FN. I was pleasantly surprised. Suppressor eye sights, not just suppressor eye sights. They're just, they just felt good. Yeah. You know, it was good to pick them up and uh, cut for a dot. But we're not really comparing that. Uh, the trigger was okay, but still pretty good for what it is. And uh, grip angle. 
just overall felt like a balanced, nice gun. So number two for me, for sure, as well. Yeah, I think so, LAPD has a nice uh, addition to their gun collection out there. For sure. And again, I don't know the reliability of this, but FN has been out there forever, so I'll go ahead and say that they're pretty good, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, obviously, number one, pretty obvious. Why? Surprised Why the hell out of me. So let's go to number one here. Um, and you were saying this before, we were talking about this being unbiased, but I have to agree with you on this, and I don't agree with Kai on a lot of things, like I said. But an m p 9, um, M2.0, the recoil mitigation was freaking surprising. Yeah. All right. I felt like I was shooting a 22, honestly. Yeah. 100%. Very good. Um, the trigger actually felt pretty damn good, too. And I mean, I know they have a couple newer triggers. You could do some work to this gun. But for a stock gun stock like gun. this, throwing an officer's hand, yep. you're, I mean, you're, you could be lights out with this thing. Throw a yep. dot on this, too. Again, it's fitted for that. But we're talking plain Jane right here. Ergonomically, that grip felt amazing. Excuse me. Freaking amazing. Yeah. Um, so I, I got to go. We gotta go number one. Number one, for sure, it's MVP. well deserved. Uh, again, this video is not sponsored by SIG or FN or Glock or Smith. This is just solely our own personal opinion. The most commonly used law enforcement guns are here, that, in our opinion. If you guys uh, disagree, just let us know in the comment section any other brands and we'd like to check them out. Perhaps we'll do number the version two of this video. Now, I had a little, uh, I guess, uh, information because we did a striker fire uh, pistol video. Okay. We compared all of the striker fires uh, pistols out there that we could get our hands on. If you guys haven't seen that, check definitely check that video out for sure. And I fired this thing, I gave it a 10. It was so amazing. So when we were doing this video, I was like, oh man, I'm not sure if there's anything that's gonna beat this gun. Not because I'm a fanboy, because it really outshot every other gun that I shot. So, and today definitely didn't disappoint. So number one for sure, and uh, if you guys are into striker fire pistols, if you're in the security field, the law enforcement field, and your department does allow you, guys, yeah. get your hands on one of these. I've got to agree with that 100%. And yeah. like I've stated before in other videos, I would love to feel that um, full metal that they have. Full, exactly. I would love yeah. to feel that hand yeah. on the full metal. It probably feels great too. Yeah. Well, that's about it, guys. Uh, let us know in the comment section, and I want this one to fall, if you guys agree or disagree with our uh, choices here and what are your thoughts between these four guns which one would you guys rank one two through four let us know in the comment section and again check out cfcontest.com good things happen there because we got going on over there i'm going to show you right Ooh, here okay. without flagging anybody down this is the knights armored corporation sr15 stoner rifle this is our current cf contest gun let's just say what that means is you know if you guys go there it'll explain uh further that you could potentially have this in your safe at home at the range permanently at no cost to you and enjoy this for the rest of your life and do whatever you want That's but nice this could be yours no goodies and add-ons on that thing exactly too, huh? we got oh yeah we got the optic over here and with the cloud defensive light this just as is right here go to cfcontest.com you're gonna have all the details this is the guy right here and the code word CAC. CAC. How do you spell that? Uh, well, I'm going to spell it for folks from Boston. So CAC is K A C. Uh, do you want my CAC? Do you want to check it out? It's a there nice black CAC you got there. Yeah. Right. It's pretty good. All right. Yeah. Code word is CAC, guys. There you go. That's it, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your business. Got a question for you, real quick. Dad joke. Here it comes. All right. What's All the right. difference between light and hard? Light and hard? Yes. What is? I could sleep with the light on. Guys, thanks for coming out, CF Podcast. I'll talk to you later. Oh, shit, I wouldn't it's not know CF Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at CF Contest. I mean, CF Podcast too, guys. Definitely check it out. We got awesome podcasts over there. We're going to have somebody from law enforcement Ooh. sometime very soon. We got one coming up. It's going to be a great one. So I don't want you to feel weird. So CF Podcast is also relevant in this video as well. Check it out. Thanks for making me feel better, guys. I there really you go. Do. See? You know what? God bless people. <laughs> we'll see you next time.